The second week of February is right past us, but that doesn't mean the news has to. So let's recap. It really sucks to start out this way, but I regret to inform you that Serial Kendama is shutting down next month. Serial is from Singapore, run by Jonathan Lee and Wintrin, both very, very close friends of mine. It was about late 2014 when the Singaporean Kendama scene was in full swing and they had decided to make Kendamas more accessible to the locals. They made some really good stuff and I've had the pleasure to own a few but as it is, the scene in Singapore dwindled so much that it simply isn't viable to continue making Kendamas. They are having half off of everything on your website so help them clear it all off alright? Okay so check this out, Thorkilt posted this into the story just two days ago talking about the Grand Central Jam happening that night. But what caught my eye is this new model, Crum logo smack in the middle of the Tama and the logo engraved all over the can. I reached out to Thorkilt for a comment. He replied back with better photos and no further comment. I guess we'll wait and see. Kendama USA made waves this week following the release of the second version of TJ Colesnick's Pro Mod dubbed Deep Sea. This time, Teach ventured deeper into the ocean with a darker color palette maple shift can and as far as sequels are concerned this wins in my book. Deal with it is back at it with a third collaboration with Coffin Nakmar. This time it's Purple Heart, same design as the Zebrano collab and for some reason that coated perp looks oh so sexy. Analog put out the Kendama called Blue Mine about uh, 4 months ago and followed up just a few days ago by releasing the Red Mine for Valentine's. It's a simple 50-50 Kendama, squab shape, techy ET paint and white tracking dot up top. Two new tees, a tank top and a zip up hoodie, fresh threads available only from Dama on clothing, Mac always added with the fire designs. Keep up the great work, man. The folks at Sulab brought out some brand new Kandamas dubbed Signature Series. These are made for the head honcho Su and his lovely wife Ayaka. The signature model is 2% larger than standard and the Su model comes with an ash can and a maple tama while Ayaka is just full ash. But what I think is the best feature is the all new friction clear paint which in their test seems to be almost chip proof and it also doesn't turn white when dented like most clear coats I know. So these come with two pre-read illustrations of both Su and Ayaka and you know what? I'm gonna just let the artist himself talk a little bit about it. That's right Azrin, thanks! What's up everyone? MJ of the Kian Damabu videos and the Dama Nerds podcast. And hey, I'm an illustrator! Did you know that? So Su asked me to do these illustrations in the style of a Japanese yokai, which is a ghoul or a monster. He also wanted me to add something that is connected with their playstyle. So with Ayaka, I turned her into Kuchi Sake Onna, which is mouth slit girl. The way that this monster kills its victims is with scissors. So at the top of her head, I added a bunch of scissors. Now Ayaka is really well known for using and doing a lot of penguin style tricks. So at the bottom of her hair, you'll see some beaks, some penguin beaks just peeking through. Now Su, on the other hand, is not your traditional Japanese yokai. He's a head that's floating with arms and some guts. I've known the guy for a long time, and he's got a lot of guts. He's also done a lot of different jobs in the past, so to do work, you need your hands, so I decided to put a bunch of hands in there. One hand is completely gone because of the sacrifice he's gone through. One hand is holding a cigarette because dude likes smoking tobacco, that's wacko and that's why he's got black lungs in there. He has a love for fish and aquariums, and that is why he's holding one net with a fish in it. He also has a pet turtle that is like a symbol of Sue Lab, if you didn't know that, and that's on his shoulder in the drawing. And his last hand is just gripping his heart, just squeezing it, cause dude's got a big heart, and he's always putting it out there. He's crying because he's a softy, we know it. And I added the Tama in his mouth, just for fun because it made the picture look, you know, a little creepier. So that's the meaning behind the drawings that I did for the Sue mod and the Ayaka mod. Hope you enjoyed it. Back to you, Azrin. Why, thank you, MJ. Kendama USA bolstered the team this month with the inclusion of Josh Kim to the tribe team. Josh Hales from Northern New Jersey started playing Kendama three years ago and if you head over real quick to his announcement edit, it ain't that hard to see why he's drafted to the team. Congratulations to Josh and I can't wait to see more of him. And that's it for this week folks. Let me know in the comments if I missed out anything. New episodes come out every Monday so get notified when they do. Hit the subscribe button somewhere down here and the bell icon to keep up to date. The name's Azrin. Till next Monday, stay lit and Dama on.